So I'd like to thank you guys for coming along. No, it wasn't. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna go on a little bit of a snowshoe. We're gonna go and do some bushcraft stuff, maybe a little bit of shooting. Uh, we've got a little bit of a walk though ahead of us. Uh, I'll kind of show you why in a minute, but uh, trying to get into my normal spot. It, as you can see, it's snowing, it's winter. <laughs> so it's a little bit tricky to get in there. This is an old bush road and I gotta walk a little bit in. So I'm gonna park the truck here. I'm gonna get the sled packed up and let's see how it goes. As you can see, I got the sled all packed up. Uh, so I'm gonna hit the road and see how long it takes me to get there. Snow's really starting to come down though. Go weather, man. All right, I just got to the trailhead. Time to get the snowshoes on. So I have a little bit of a truck ahead of me. It's pretty fresh snow. Uh, yeah, let's do this. All right, guys. Well, made it. <laughs> made it to uh, a very snowy area. So what we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna get a fire started because I'm gonna cook up some lunch after. Don't worry, I'm gonna keep it far away from the fire rooms because we're gonna do a little bit of shooting today. We'll film a little bit of that. Uh, but yeah, today's a bit of, like I said, a little bit of bushcraft. Obviously a little bit of snowshoeing, a little winded now, gonna have some water. I'm gonna pick a spot for my fire. Canada's fun. All right, let's get ready. All right, well I got a little spot swept out here right next to a rock. I think it would be a good spot to have a little fire. Oh. Man, I only went like snowshoeing and walked about a half a kilometer. But I'm already exhausted. I'm out of shape. All right, well, I'm gonna sit and rest through here for a little bit. And then I'm gonna start collecting some firewood. Oh. Swear to God, I'm not gonna have a nap. All right, so what I'm looking for right now, is some firewood. So preferably what I want is dead standing. What dead standing is, if you look here, this tree I'm shaking right here, it's fallen down, but it's not sitting on the ground. So it's still up off of the snow. So it's not gonna be saturated with water or anything like that. So it should be pretty dry. Sorry I'm out of breath. I brought snowshoes, but decided to walk all that way without them. Mistakes were made. All right. All right, got my folding saw. Let's get this cut down. <laughs> so I'll lose it. All right, perfect it. What the heck? Oh, okay, well, I just cut that down thinking that it was still somewhat attached. I wouldn't be able to just pull it over the ground. Well, I was mistaken, but it's kind of interesting why. Now some of you will know exactly what that means. 
give you guys a few seconds to guess. But for those of you who don't, a beaver cut this down. Now this area is a little bit surrounded by swampland. Uh, actually, I think I got some drone footage. I'll see if I can cut it in here. Uh, if not, sorry. But there is a lot of swamp around here and a lot of ponds. I've never seen any beavers or anything like that around here because I've never really gone to those water areas, but clearly this one was caught down, but abandoned. I guess it wasn't good enough, but it's good enough for me. All right, let's throw this. Ugh. Landed in a snowbank. All right, let's see what else we can find. Sticking to my gloves. I'm going to my pouch. There we go. Oh, this is really paperish, which is good for getting it started, but I need some thicker stuff too. I think this is white birch. I don't really know my trees, to be honest. I should probably learn if I'm gonna be doing more of this, but you know, tell me in the comments below what kind of birch tree this is. I know there's some that have more, actually maybe it's not, because I know there's other types of birch trees that have a lot whiter bark, and it's a little bit thicker, and I usually like starting my fires with that, but I don't see anyone, see any, anyone. There's no one out here. I don't see any of them around here, unfortunately. So I'll have to, Kind of wait and see here. All right, so I got my little spot here. So my first cerium rod, start the fire in a moment. All right, get some of my birch bark here. I kind of get it just right in here where it's a little sheltered. There's a little bit of a breeze. Not too, too bad. As right there, the wind kicks up, which is always fun. I kind of get the sticks to try and hold it in here. Hopefully this stuff is late enough I can get it started without having to grab from my uh, fire starting kit. All right. There we go. That went out, damn it. All right, so I shifted the birch bark around a bit because it wasn't really firing up for me. So let's try this again. There we go, here we go. Wow, I'm having a lot of issues today. All right, we're gonna cheat. Give me a sec. So, grabbing my survival kit, or my hike, everyday hike kit, as you guys may have remembered from my previous video, which I'll link below. Or not my last video, but a previous video. In here, I keep stuff for getting the fire started. So, cotton balls work really well because they catch the spark, and they hold it, and they can get the fire started. Now, oftentimes people will soak them in like Vaseline and whatnot to make them burn a bit slower, but I found a couple times I've done this, it's not really needed. It's, you got enough fire starting stuff in here, it will take. Come on. There we go. All right, so I've had this shotgun for a while. It's a 12 gauge, but I haven't shot it with this smaller handle on it. Usually I'd have the stock on, I'd be putting it in my arm. Words are hard, I don't know why. It's been a long day, I guess. But it came with this gooseneck handle and I've always kind of wanted to shoot it. 
a little nervous to be honest, but let's give it a try. No, I wouldn't want to shoot that all the time. That was pretty fun. <laughs> all right, now time for the SKS. Man, I did not want to load. Whew. Get another one. There you go. Twenty-two times. Oh, it's fun. It's actually really. Fun. I can apologize, guys. This has been kind of a boring video to be honest. I've been having fun. I ended up not putting the camera on as much as I intended but it was kind of fun to relax like even my fire is already kind of burnt right down which is kind of cool. I was going to cook up some food but I don't know just with the way the weather was and the way the fire was burning it just didn't really make a good bed of coals or anything like that so not really going to do that. So probably going to start cleaning up, pack up and do some video of us hiking out. So it's really more of a snowshoe and you can see a little bit of the pew pews, which is kind of fun. I haven't been able to shoot a lot. That's another problem too, the wind's starting to kick up. So <laughs> I'm glad this fire's burnt down now, even though it's middle of winter, so I don't think I'm gonna start a fire or anything like that. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna break camp down and start heading back to the truck. I feel like I should have had more to say there. Yeah well, let's get tidied. So there's something to keep in mind, if you're gonna go out in the winter, if you're taking water with you, which you obviously should, uh, open it regularly, because I've let it sit now for about, I don't know, half an hour. Oh, there we go. And it was kinda, the seal was frozen. The water's not frozen, there is definitely water in, or, of course there's water in there. There's ice in there, but it's not frozen. Woo, that's chilly. But yeah, open it regularly, because otherwise it's gonna freeze shut on you.
and shameless plug time again. Because once again, I'm always wearing my each hour apparel gear. So the hat here I'm wearing. Picked that up the other day. Super comfy, super warm. I'm actually starting to sweat a little bit. Maybe it's from all the walking, but. Whew. Yeah, go check out each hour apparel. apparel. Eh, can't say any words. Awesome clothing, whether it be workout gear, hang out by the fire gear, outdoor gear, whatever you want to call it. Just close to be comfy and, and enjoy the outdoors or exercise, whatever you want to do. So go check out HR Apparel. There's a link down in the description down below. News clip. Eh. <laughs> this is the worst plug ever. And use coupon code QuimJam for 20% off. Huh. Helps out the channel too. Yeah, I can get a snowmobile. I don't have to walk so far. That's okay. I need the exercise. <laughs> yeah, we're heading out of here now. Got all packed up. We're ready to go. Take our half kilometer snowshoe back to the truck and head for home. So I'd like to thank you guys for coming along. No, it wasn't. Uh... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's your <laughs> there's your entertainment value for the day. <laughs> I knew it was just a matter of time before I tripped in these snowshoes. Oh man, I gotta try and get up. Okay, put the camera down. All right, let's see if I can get up. Oh, oh what happened? Okay. Oh, maybe it's the fact the wind's kicking up. It blew me over or something. <sighs> Anyways, guys. Now we're gonna head back. Oh, man, you can almost see the trail we took on the way in is almost completely covered in snow with this wind. That's probably the reason why I'm heading home. But anyways, I'm already out of breath. This is gonna be a long walk. Anyways guys, appreciate you coming along for this adventure. I feel like I wanna ask you guys something, but I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next adventure, guys. Seeing you guys on the next adventure, guys. Man, what am I talking about?